Hey guys, welcome back to another video on the Divine RPM channel. In today's video, we're going to be installing a Skunk 2 70mm throttle body, a new TPS, and a new IACV valve. Let's get to it. So guys, the intake manifold that I'm using is a Skunk 2 Ultra Street intake manifold. Now these are for K20 only, so I'm using this on a K24A3. And to do that, I will need an adapter, which I have used from JDM Yard. Now I've already done a video on this and I will link it in the description below on the pop out on the top right. We also have a 0.5 liter intake spacer. As always guys, we're gonna start with a quick unboxing. So this is the K-Series 70 millimeter throttle body Skunk. Pro Series, um, I think the difference in series is just um, maybe the location, I'm not sure, or maybe uh, just the mil. So I think the 74 mil Pro Series and others. But 70 mil is what our intake is, so we're gonna stay with 70 mil and put this on. Now this is what I got. I ordered this from JDM Yard. So, um, I got these bolts. Uh, they were in a the bag that was in was ripped, so I just put them in a grab bag. Uh, this is the bolt you need to install the throttle body, the throttle body itself. So this is 70 mil. So this is a 70 millimeter throttle body. Compared to the stock one, it is way bigger. Um, the stock one, I believe, is like 30 or something. So the TPS will go there. That's the throttle body. And the cable will be right up there. Now these don't come with a bracket. I believe they don't, but I think JDM Yard has supplied me with a bracket and this bracket is for your throttle cable so this way your throttle cable is not just hanging in the air you need to mount it somewhere so this mounts somewhere here i believe here much yeah here and that allows you to uh have your cable routed properly onto the onto here onto here which makes things a whole lot easier and of course comes with installation guide and warranty and gaskets the gaskets is another important thing now we got we have a throttle body gasket and a tps gasket which is really nice i'm not sure if we're going to use this because the uh, Acu acuity new tps um, might have a gasket in there so that's the throttle body now why are we going for a bigger throttle body because we're using an aftermarket intake as i said before and we need a bigger one because we need to cater for more air coming into the engine we want to make more power so more air more combustion we also got new injectors so we have more air i mean we have more fuel and we need more air to uh, to con to 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 compensate um so we can make a lot more power and it's going to improve thorough body response and all that so the iscv goes here tps goes here that's the throttle body put that aside let's open the tps now now this is a acuity acuity or acuity however you say it hall effect tps upgrade now it is a i guess you could create an oem replacement for uh, k series tps it says the benefits and stuff now what you get in the box i already opened it is a brand new acuity tps so Gives you the two bolts that you need to bolt down the TPS, of course stickers. And this is the TPS itself. Now it is very cool. That's the TPS there, so it's a nice purple one. QD TPS. And it's got the grooves there. Now this groove will go into here. To here, as you can see when you when you're opening and closing the throttle body, that is where the sensor identifies the position I guess so with that directly connected up properly and with uh, grooves with nice grooves here um, it'll be way better than an OEM so the OEM one is very similar to this um, the reason why we're not going OEM is because the OEM TPS is garbage and when you're going into an aftermarket application with the throttle body intake and making a lot more power um, the OEM TPS is just going to fail. 99% of the time it's going to fail. Um, it might not fail straight away, but it definitely will fail and you have to replace it. These definitely won't fail because they are an upgraded one and they're a whole effect, which I'll get into a bit later. But 
the reason that we're going um, this upgraded one is because the only one is garbage and we need a upgraded one which is going to cater for the rest of the car so that's that I will talk a bit more about this later now we have now I've got a calibration harness for the TPS it was 60 bucks I don't know if I'm going to use it at this point of time so basically this little harness goes in between your TPS wiring and your engine harness and this allows you to directly um, calibrate the TPS through your ECU um, because we're going Haltech Nexus the Nexus will be doing the calibration so we probably I'm not sure if we're going to be need this or use this because uh, Acuity says to just plug this in calibrate it and then take it out so we'll see if we actually need this or not to uh, keep a constant connection between the TPS and the Haltech Nexus. So we've got that just in case. Now last is the IACV. It's a K21, uh, K20A1 actually I believe. So it's, it's from JDM Yard, it's an upgraded one. Um, we'll, I'll go to the car and show you the stock throttle body and stock IACV factory I mean so we've got a gasket here that's IACV valve it does not come with screws so we will have to go to the car and grab the screws from grab the screws from the other one so I believe it's just these two screws because these yeah this is already here just these two screws which we will grab from the other car very nice to see brand new nice gasket we'll fit directly onto there cool okay now let's do a bit of talking so I'm going to talk a bit more about TPS and the technology and how it works and stuff. So the OEM TPS is garbage, I said it before. When using the OEM TPS on a throttle body, you will always usually end up failing. Either it fails at the start or it definitely in its last time it will fail and you will need to replace that. Now this won't fail because it's an upgraded one. So first of all, why do we need a TPS? So a TPS is a throttle position sensor. And now this sensor is used to monitor the incoming air coming from an intake and it's usually located on the valve side of the throttle body so as I showed you before this is directly connected to the butterfly valve so it knows the position of the throttle body now this way it directly identifies the throttle position now this accurate one is actually a Hall Effect sensor so as you can see here Hall Effect TPS upgrade so it's a TPS with the Hall Effect upgrade so it uses the Hall Effect technology um, to monitor the TPS and you know, get that information so it's known as, sorry, this uh, Hall Effect style is known as a modern non-contact type TPS. So the Hall Effect TPS removes the resistive track system that is known to wear out. And it, when it wears out, it creates dead spots and causes idle issues. Now the Accu TPS is highly resistant to vibrations and has an onboard signal sensor making the voltage output smoother and can more consistent. We get improved idle, we get improved engine responsiveness, and of course, improved throttle response um, so all of that is we don't have that with the uh, stock throttle body I mean not the stock throttle body the stock TPS now the resistive track type system on the other one is ideally the wiper type so it just directly gets the information from the position by connected to here but because this is a whole effect it actually uses voltage so it's a bit more complicated but more technology advanced and more reliable to use in a car for dry, um, for non drive by wire so we're not going drive by wire yet we're going cable first i'll talk about why later so as i mentioned the harness before the tps harness so the harness is used to calibrate the tps i'm not even sure where it connects to because it connects from the wiring um, so the harness is used to calibrate the IQ TPS and it goes between the TPS and the engine wiring harness which is providing us convenient points to contact signal and ground wires so that allows us to calibrate it easier. We'll actually be using the Nexus to calibrate it like I said before. So at this point in time we won't be installing this on any wiring harness, not on the loom, or not on the factory one or the new loom that doesn't exist yet. <laughs> um, so I just wanted to show you that this is available and I did buy it just in case we need it. Okay, now IACV. This is an, this is an idle air control valve, so known as IAVC. This one is a direct bolt-on for K20A throttle bodies. Um, so K20A, any variant of K20A, and not K24. So K24 is actually drive-by-wire. Um, I'll show you the drive-by-wire because um, I still have this stock intake. 
uh, manifold but yeah so the k24 that i have is drive by wire and all the k20s i believe are cable um, so that's why the IIC V valves are only on K20s and these are only for K20As. Now we have a K24, but we're using a K20 intake manifold and a K20 throttle body. So this will actually work perfect for us and will fit um, very well, perfectly on the throttle body and a throttle body will perfectly fit on the intake. Now an idle air control valve is a component that controls the air, controls how the engine would idle when RPM is rising and falling. So it's supposed to keep the speed, uh, steady speed to avoid stalling and allows the car to move once you let off your foot off the clutch or brake. Um, in stock form, the valve is electronically regulated through the factory ECU and I believe we'll be getting to do the Nexus R3 to do the same thing um, with this and the TPS. Okay, that's all the bullshit. Let's get to work. I guess so before we get installing, um, just Take a look at this this is the 70 millimeter one now i'm going to bring you here this is the k24 drive-by wire so this if you have this i believe this means drive-by wire because there's no uh, string or cable um this this directly connects and it's drive-by wire it's a very small throttle body as you can see it's probably about 30 mil if this camera wants to go that way but yeah it's probably about 30 mil and it's very small that's the stock k24 intake manifold um rbb i believe your yeah, rbb intake with the RBB throttle body, which is very small, drive-by wire. Drive-by wire is a very interesting technology, but we will not be going to drive-by wire yet, because I would like to do a comparison later. Now let's just go to the car. And open the bonnet. Now I did find it early before. Um, so that is the stock K28-3, the K28-3 intake um, throttle body. It is probably the same size as the K24 one, which is about 30 mil, I believe. Um, the ISEV is right there on the rock, on this side here. It's exactly the same. It's exactly the same as the one I bought from JDM Yard. Um, and we just need these two screws, one and two, which I will take out later. But other than that, that's the ISCV valve. And we won't be using this at all. We'll be taking this cable off and putting it on the K24. All right, so the first thing I wanna do is install the TPS. So this is the TPS here, and this is the new throttle body, and that is gonna go right there. Now what we do is, I don't think there was a gasket in this. Let's see if there was. Uh, no, there wasn't. So we were given a gasket with this. So let's see, because there was a lot of rubber there. So let's see if we actually need it. I don't think the gasket would even work. Let's have a look. This is the gasket that Skunk has given us. It just sits like that. Oh, it works. So yeah, if this gasket is here, I mean, it is a bit of a double gasket, isn't it? So I think this is a gasket that's known to fail. It's like a paper sort of gasket on the stock ones. This one's not really paper. But, you know, if they haven't given us a TPS and this has the rubbers on it, I think it should be fine, right? Because I think people install this just like this. Ah, right, so it's got that. I can feel the rubber doing its job. But if I double up right and put this... I'm gonna put this on top. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm not gonna use... I'm gonna not put the gasket on yet because uh, if I don't think we need it to be honest. I think people install this without the gasket so we're just gonna go straight on and line up the bolts and put these in. Now I'm installing this on here first because I want to install it on the throttle body first everything then we're gonna go to the engine and install it on the engine. Um, just like we did for the intake manifold, install everything on the manifold first, then install the manifold on up. Otherwise, it's going to be really hard to do it um, on the engine. So put it in and line up the holes. And 
get my screwdriver. Now I've seen this installed on the K-Tune throttle body, I believe it's almost exactly the same thing. Um, it was a 70mm throttle body as well, so it's not really any difference. Just your choice of preference and if you're, if it works on your intake manifold, that's the most important thing, is that your throttle body works with your intake manifold, so this is all skunk, so um, it's all guaranteed to work. I'm not sure if I put this on tight as, because it looks like there's some play on there, but I think I do put it tight. Not not to the point where I break it, but yeah, just like that. And then there you go, it's measuring, to so now measuring, sending that information to absolutely nowhere. That's a TPS install, looks really nice. Accuity. So that's a TPS. Now, ISC Viva. So, we're awesome enough to get a gasket, very nice, thank you very much. Jetting me out, so that will fit like so. I've seen people use um, you know, just Celastic and RTV, but you know we have a gasket, so good. Um, another thing for the K-tuned one, I believe it's not like this shape. Um, so the Skunk one has the exact shape of this, the ISCV, so it fits directly on, which is why people use the RTV because it's not the exact shape, so they make their own gasket, I guess. So that just goes. Oh, I'm not actually sure which way it goes. Oh wait, obviously it goes um, the way they guess it. Because it works both ways. Does it not? It fits both ways, yeah. I believe it's this way. I believe it's this way. Because this is blocked off. Yeah, I actually believe this is, we actually blocked this off because the K24 does not have this. So I believe we, can we actually even take this out? Yeah, we can. So, it fits more the other way, right? It fits more like this. Yeah, so that's how it goes. So the, yeah, the top one is this, is this curved one. Because the gasket sits like that. Sorry, like this. The bottom two are the ones that are same. So these two are the same. See, that's slightly to the left, see? These two are in line, so the two that are online obviously go on the bottom. So these two go on the bottom and that goes on the top. Set. So um, I couldn't get the TPS, I mean the bolts off, I actually broke them. Um, but I managed to get these off from the throttle body. They look, they all look the same, just the length was different. So I'm going to try these two first, but I will later change them to the right ones, but be careful. When taking bolts off your old tip, old IACV, yeah, this one doesn't even fit. So I'm gonna have to just send one of them only, and get another one of these. But uh, yeah, be careful with that because um, I sprayed WD-40 and then I waited a bit. Then I went to take it off. As soon as I put it on, the uh, screw just broke. So those two in the IACV are broken. Let's just pop this back on. And I use this. I use this and it broke. So there we go. So I'm just going to tighten this a little bit and um, I'll just search up and find the other one and just pop it in when it's ready to go. But make sure it's still lined up on the other side and then tighten it because it will tighten it in the wrong position. Yep, okay. IACV is on. That hole is lined up for us to use any screw that we find I guess. Okay, now that's pretty much the throttle body ready to go onto the intake manifold. We've got the TPS, the IACV. Now I believe we, I believe that we're going to be blocking this off anyway, but we'll see how we go. And um, one more thing, of course, is the bracket for the throttle body cable. Is the bracket, and we were given screws for it, so let's use the screws. Two tiny screws. 
kasi so there's two small ones in this bag and two big ones maybe they gave two spare anyway now which way does it go? I'm not too sure to be honest so I'm gonna have a look on the manifold and come back so I'm not gonna put the bracket on yet because um, we do have a fitment issue with this throttle body on the intake because of the spacer. Now I'm gonna take you to the intake manifold and let's discuss over there. It still can fit, but I'll show you what I mean. Okay, here's what you're looking at. Here's the intake manifold. That's this side. Here's the throttle body. Okay, so here's our dilemma, right? Now, usually you're supposed to install the throttle body like this. Um, so when we put it on, it lines up and everything, but this is actually hitting the manifold now. So we can't actually open and close the throttle body because it's hitting and the cable can't even, there's no space for the cable there. Um, so what we're gonna have to do is install it either this way which seems a bit weird in my opinion with this having up here. Um, but we're gonna install it this way because the bolts still line up, I think, or they don't. There's one way where the bolts do line up. Yeah, when it's upside down, it still doesn't line up. Oh shit, it doesn't fit. So now we need to figure out a solution and space out the, space out the intake manifold so it's a bit out so we can actually fit it because now there's a it's hitting so it actually doesn't even line up so it only lines up this way the holes the holes for the intake manifold it only lines up this way it doesn't line up this way nope it doesn't line up this way nope and it also doesn't line up this way even if it did, the throttle body is hitting, hitting over here. So we can only put it this way and it's hitting. So we're gonna have to make up a adapter or something or a spacer, which won't be that hard. Um, I'm sure it'll be really easy to just get a piece of metal um, to space it out and we should be fine. So I'm just gonna put it on anyway, um, as light as I can without damaging it. The cable bracket here. Oh, a bit of a dilemma, huh? but I'll figure it out. I thought it could fit the other way, but I guess not. Um, it does fit with the spacer off, but now that we've got the intake manifold spacer, it doesn't fit. So I'm just gonna just slowly put them on. Oh, I've got the gasket. I need the gasket. <laughs> the gasket will probably space it out a little bit, but definitely not enough. So we might either get like double gasket or something, or I'll just get I'll just get someone to fab up a spacer, and then we should be fine. The gasket's pretty thin. Wait, why is this gasket wrong? Oops, wrong way. There you go. Now the gasket lines up. I was gonna say the gasket wasn't lining up, but it does. It does line up. It kind of doesn't, but it kind of does at the same time. It's on an angle. For some How about I do this? Okay, that's just sitting in.
So I'll show you guys what's going on, right? So that's the throttle body. It's on, it looks very nice. It looks really cool all together. But um, yeah, so this cable bracket thing here is actually hitting this spacer. It's not hitting right now because I don't have it bolted on, but if I squeeze it on, right, it doesn't actually go on because it's hitting. And you know, even if it wasn't hitting, um, if it was just a bit off, when you put the cable on and try and open the throttle body, it just, it's gonna touch, right? See, it's, it's like just touching it, which is very bad because um, it's gonna damage both the intake manifold and the throttle body, which is, it's gonna put more pressure on trying to open it. So we will need, I'll probably get a spacer made. If I can't find one, then I'll get one made, just a metal, a metal plate that's gonna space it out just a little bit and just like that, so we can have the throttle body like that. Let loose, open, and yeah, because this is the only way the skunk throttle body will fit on the skunk manifold. So that's how it should go, yeah, camera reception. But anyway, um, yeah, so that's how it should be. And we will need to get a spacer here, which I'm sure there's someone made it. I'll find it or I'll just get Reese from Highland Industries to fab up a quick metal plate, which will fit perfectly. And there, boom, the car should be fine. But for now, I'll probably leave it just loose like that. And um, till I find a plate, you know, that's, that's how it's gonna be, so. That's the Skunk 2 70mm throttle body, so now you know that you will need a spacer um, and it doesn't fit, so I will have to update everything on that and update you guys on that uh, on the intake manifold video that a Skunk 70mm throttle body will probably not fit with a spacer. So that's it for this, guy, this video guys. Um, just to reiterate, this is the Skunk 2 throttle body. It has an Acuity TPS, a K20A IACV, um, and it fits, kind of. You need a blanking plate. Thank you guys for watching this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. See ya.